Hi, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Kingdom Upgrades. I am your ambassador, Dylan. Let's connect here where the kingdom evolves into the realm of reality, manifesting in the culture where glory becomes tangible. The place of rapid transformation within transition. Come on, meet me here where there is growing excellence, I said in glory. The Lord bless you all and thank you for tuning in. Let's jump on on this here. We're looking at the genesis of 2023, the beginning of 2023. What is required? The genesis of 2023 is considered the act, the place of safety. So you have to be in a safe place for 2023. Everyone need to find themselves in the safe place, in the safe place. There's only one safe place. Let's look at this. We're in Genesis chapter six, and we're looking at the life of Noah. We know that Noah was a righteous man. He walked with the Lord habitually in fellowship with God. Come on. And Noah lived in an evil generation, a day of evil, but he was found faithful and righteous. Okay. And he found favor with God in an evil generation. So he was righteous in an evil generation. His generation was evil, but he was still righteous in an evil generation. Okay. And as a result of that, God told him what he was about to do. Okay. And God gave him the instructions to build an ark of go forward. Let's look at verse 13 of Genesis chapter 6. I'm just going to read uh, two verses. God said to Noah, I intend to make an end of all that lives. For true men, the land is filled with violence. And behold, I am about to destroy them together with the land. That was all because the generation was evil, okay? And it was in a state of decay morally, you know, and spiritually. So God told Noah what he was going to do, and he gave Noah instructions to build an ark. The next thing is in verse 17, he said, For behold, I, even I, will, br will bring a flood of waters on the earth to destroy all the life, to destroy all life, sorry, under the heavens, in which there is breath and spirit of life. Everything that is on the land shall die. Verse 18, but I will establish my covenant, my solemn promise, formal agreement with you, and you shall come into the ark, you and your family, your three sons, and your wife and your son's wives your son's wives with you okay so the lord gave Noah the layout so when Noah was going to work and building the ark Noah had an understanding because he was considered an architect because he was the first one first person to build an ark okay a boat in Noah day there was no rain so Noah so the people in Noah, they he appeared to be a foolish man because he was building a boat on a dry land. They never had rain. They don't have water like that. So he was considered to be a fool. And he went along doing what God instructed him to do. Most definitely he was doing it in obedience to the Lord. And the day came when he finished the act. The animals came two by two. They all went into the ark. Noah and his family went into the ark. And then the Lord shut the door. That is the beautiful part of the story. And that is something that the Lord drew my attention to. Drew my attention to. And told me to pay attention here. Because the Lord closed the door. He closed the door. Not another the Lord shut the door. Okay? So when the Lord shut the door, Noah couldn't have had any sympathy on anyone or said he was going to help anyone. The time for that would have passed. Because Noah did his part, the Lord allowed him to preach. And no one paid him any attention. It was only Noah's family and the animals that entered the boat. 
even so in this hour so let me read genesis chapter 7 verse 15 here it is so then when so the, so they went sorry they went into the ark with noah two by two all living beings in which there was the was a breath of life those which entered male and female of all flesh creatures entered as god had commanded noah and the lord closed the door behind him Aye. see noah had no control over the door so the lord said in this hour the ark that is building all the preaching the teaching that is building is preparing persons for the safe place preparing persons to be in the place of safety in the ark of safety god consider 2020 from the time 2020 it was intense interruption eruption and interruption in humanity in the entire world okay and that was a time that was the starting of the eruption and the interruption for the preparation of the place of safety that men hearts will look to god okay so that they will begin to pay attention and begin to desire to be with god as a result of everything that is happening on the earth okay the amount of discomfort we we, we encounter peace nothing was the normal was normal anymore everything changed okay so as we're here now 2023 you need to be in the ark the place of safety there's only one place of safety okay so god is preparing for us a place of safety a lot of us observe that a lot of preachers persons raise up and people preaching and prophesying more than normal it, it just intensify in 2020 and it's just begin to continue for some persons it looked like mockery it looked like who are they now they're preaching and whatever but i'm here to say to us that god is spirit and they that know their god shall be strong and they shall do exploits because god there's there's a voice of the lord in the earth the voice of god is in the earth presently only they that have an ear to hear will hear the voice of god when the word of god said that um my sheep know my voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow the voice of god is in the earth and the sheep those who are true sheep of the lord they know the voice of God because the Spirit of God will bear witness with their spirit. And they understand. They would have an understanding because this is all spiritual. So in all of this, I'm saying to us now that the place of safety is being prepared. And 2023, you need to be in the act if you're not there. And that is considered a place of intimacy where you establish your prayer altar. And your prayer life in God and you're intimate with God that you would able to understand when the spirit is moving when persons are speaking if they're speaking of the Lord or they're not speaking of the Lord or if they're they're false listen to me you don't have to be afraid of who might be false if you're intimate with God the spirit of God will bear witness with your spirit telling you that this is my voice there is no need for us to be afraid our place is to become intimate with god is to draw nigh to god spend time in the presence of god and get familiar with him and his voice okay so that we will know that there will be a witness with our spirit witnessing it there will be a witness you would know when this is of god or it's not of god so the ark is considered a place of safety in this hour all those who have been preparing themselves they are those who are mothers and father in the faith they have been preparing the place of safety and those who are following and paying attention to what they were doing and saying based on the instructions of the lord they will all be in the ark because it was an ark that god was building 
a place of safety that they were running with the instructions of the lord likewise those who are in the ark and they were praying for their family and their loved ones they will be preserved and be safe because the lord look it for a man seek it for a man to stand in the gap okay to build up the edges for instance there was like a few weeks ago apostle branson came and she was doing a live and she said the lord instructed her that persons must submit their children name those who are ministers and those who are leaders submit the names of their children because the lord gave her a command from heaven to pray for children and the children of leaders and ministers of the gospel and when she did that when she did that broadcast and i came off i was before the lord and the lord said to me that she is building the ark and it's a place of safety because our children a lot of children are getting out of hand and a whole lot of things are going on because the enemy is was launching a direct attack against these children okay so those who are mothers and fathers in the faith who are building up the edge and who are building according to instructions from the lord okay they're building the ark and a lot of persons were building the ark and a lot of persons took it for granted but come 2023 2023 wouldn't even hit and we will start getting some shaking okay so the place of safety is an ark and that is a the lord that said to noah he is established his covenant because god on a covenant you see the lord said to noah that he established i established my covenant my solemn promise and formal agreement with you and you shall come into the ark see so covenant those who are covenanted to the lord those who are covenanted those who are in covenant they and their family will enter the ark this is speaking about biological as well as spiritual because those who are mothers and fathers in the faith they were building and those who are building they are considered their families Okay, and they consider to be families and consider to be family. Okay, so those are the persons who are going to be in the place of safety. Because in 2023, we're going to see a demarcation. There will be a clear distinction of what is of God and what is not of God. They that know their God, they shall be strong and they will do exploits. Come on. And those who are not of God, they will see a clear distinction. There is no more room for us to pretend and play. It's on us. It's before us. Okay? It is before us. And this would happen suddenly. There will be a suddenly. Destruction would hit suddenly. Just as it was in the day of Noah. When the flood came suddenly. And persons were mocking Noah. Okay? And the flood came suddenly. Noah could not have helped them. The Lord shut the door. And the very thing will happen now because this is all a work of the spirit. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, say the Lord of hosts. So we're in a place whereby this is all the Lord's doing. If we observe what modern nature is doing, listen to me. Only God alone can get the glory. No man. Because this is all nature, mother nature. And the very thing that is bringing destruction is water. A lot of nations are getting flood. A lot of nations are getting flood. So much disaster. It's just the nature. Blizzards and storms and snowstorms. It's nature. Okay? So it's the hands of God who control everything. Who is in control of the cohesive force of the universe? Come on. Wake up if you're sleeping. Wake up. I pray the Lord enlighten the eyes of our understanding in this hour. Because the ark is a place of safety. Those who have established their relationship with God. And they have established an altar with the Lord. They will have peace. Because the government is upon his shoulder. Okay? 
he is called wonderful counselor he's going to counsel those who are he is okay he is mighty god he's everlasting father and he is the prince of peace so those who are in the place of safety in the ark they would have peace they that know their god they will be strong and they will do exploits they will be counseled by the lord okay and they will heed the instructions of the lord because the lord is in control of everything he is in control of the cohesive force of the universe so be sure that you're in a place of safety i pray the wisdom of the lord in this hour the counsel of the lord the understanding of god and i pray the eyes of your understanding be enlightened so father come your kingdom come your will be done on earth as you have planned in heaven in this hour for our lives individually and collectively the lord bless you all shalom shalom